welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away, and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the uh, Facebook link is below, okay? Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for the collective. So guys, I hope you like the new camera angle. I think it's a little shaky sometimes, but the camera shakes a little bit, but I think it's a lot better. I played with it a lot this morning. So just let me know what you guys think if you like this angle a little bit better, okay? All right, so let's get started here for the collective, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, <coughs> clarity guidance love messages for the collective please holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for the collective please spirit what does the collective need to hear today please holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for the collective please okay so under the deck we have the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy, and the Seven of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, and we have the Queen of Cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. Okay. So guys, this could be your side. This could be your person's side. You go ahead and take it as it resonates, okay? So obviously here, what we have is someone that's keeping a secret, okay? Someone here is not being honest with how they feel. I feel like someone here is quite possibly coming off as loving, kind, caring, but with the Knight of Wands, this person may be pursuing other options, talking to other people, making promises that they do not intend to keep making promises that they do not intend to keep. But this is someone wearing a mask. This is someone that's coming off as very, very um, loving. Now, the Queen of Cups can also be an energy of intuition, and so is the High Priestess. Very strong intuitive cards here. So I feel that this could also be the side of somebody that is listening to these promises, like someone's promising, you know what I'm saying, commitment or something stable, <clears throat> but you feel like something's very off. You feel like this person's lying with the Knight of Wands energy. You, you feel like something's off with this person. Your intuition is telling you that something isn't right here. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess for the collective, please. Ooh, the Hierophant Taurus energy. Guys, you may be dealing with someone who is married, or again, those are two very spiritual cards. The divine may be, you know what I'm saying, telling you something here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune on top of the Queen of Cups. I feel like what's going to happen here is this person is coming off as too good to be true. That's what's happening. They're coming off as too good to be true. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, please. The King of Wands in the reverse. Leo Sagittarius energy. So, guys, I feel like we're dealing with someone here who is committed elsewhere. And with the King of Wands in the reverse, this is obviously someone who cheats, someone non-committal. This is someone very, um, someone that, you know, comes off in an energy of lust. This is somebody that pursues their lust. This is someone who lies. Someone very selfish, controlling, maybe. 
Yeah, this person's promising commitment. They're promising all these things, but the, I don't think that they're serious. Knight of Wands energy, please, for the collective. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, this person is talking to multiple people, guys. You're dealing with someone here. You may be on cloud nine, you know, feeling like, oh, this is amazing. This person's amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Okay. Uh, but I feel like this person is committed elsewhere. This person is talking to other people with, uh, yeah, the moon card and the high priestess, Cancer Piscean energy. I feel like spirit is telling you to use your intuition, cut this person out. Okay. Use your intuition. There's something here that you're not seeing about this person. So let's see here. <coughs> Clarity, guidance, love messages for the collective, please. 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 Okay. Under the deck, we have the Emperor Aries Taurus energy. We have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups in the reverse. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, and the Three of Cups. Why do I feel like this is somebody that you might know? For some of you, this might be <clears throat> an ex that you had a very bad history with coming back around, wanting to talk to you, talking about reconciling. The problem is what you're not seeing here is that this person is in a relationship and eventually with the four of cups here and the ten of swords, you may get hurt here. Or this could be an indication of someone here saying, no, I want a divorce. I don't want my husband. I don't want my wife. We're separated. So this may be some, I, the, the six of cups, this is someone that you already know. This is someone that this is, you don't have a good history with this person. Um, they're coming in out of the blue to come and talk to you. This person maybe wants to take you out for a drink. They want to, you know, meet up with you. They want to reunite. They want to reconcile. But I feel like <coughs> this person is committed. Six of cups in the reverse, please, for the collective. Six of cups in the reverse, please, for the collective. The death card, scorpionic energy. This is a, a connection that you ended in the past. It, this is something that is, like, dead. Um, the king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, and the ace of wands. This person's coming back towards you wanting to talk, wanting to communicate, but they're up to something. This person has a plan. This person, like, they're, they're up to something. Tell me about this King of Swords. Give me one more on this King of Swords, please. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. So guys, maybe you're single and you're looking really good. Maybe some of you started making more money. Maybe you've changed the way you look. Whatever it is, you're, you've reached pre-empress level here. You glowed up and now this person is coming back around with, with a plan. Like they want to get you back, but I feel like it's... See, this ex has been watching you. They've been stalking you. Um, this person has a plan. I feel like they, they're trying to come in and take something from you. It could be, yeah, see, look at all these pentacles. Six of pentacles, which is a giving energy, the four of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles. I feel like this person is planning on coming back, taking what they need with the four of pentacles, which I feel like for some of you might be money, okay? And then they're going to leave you hanging. And then they're going to leave you hanging. This person's coming in with a plan. They need something from you. I feel like they're committed elsewhere to make matters even worse. Tell me about the page of wands. Leo Sag. The Four of Wands. This person may be married with children. Or this person is coming in promising stability. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Page of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This person's lying. They're going to be very flirtatious. They're going to say, I love you. I miss you. Very sweet energy. But they're not speaking their truth. They're not. They are not. Tell, these are not promises that this person plans on keeping. I feel like this person is going to do a lot of talking um, to get you to fall in love with them again. They, <laughs> this person knows how to emotionally manipulate is what I'm feeling. Let's 
see here? Spirit, what is the challenge here? What is the challenge here, please? Holy Spirit, what is the challenge here, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What is the challenge here, please? Holy Spirit. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy, and the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy, and the Six of Pentacles. Uh, the problem here, guys, is that it, it's hitting this person that you have a lot to offer them now. It could be money. It could be that maybe you glowed up financially or whatever. Like you have something to offer now and it's hitting this person. So the challenge is, is that maybe you're doing better than them. Does that make sense? Like you're doing better than them. Tell me about the outcome, please. Tell me about the outcome, please, Spirit. Tell me about the outcome, please. Spirit, tell me about the outcome here, please, for the collective. Ooh, I caught that. Okay, so we've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. We have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. Guys, this person is coming in to reunite with you. That, but again, that Four of Pentacles energy, it's like they... The, the, it's either this person is greedy with you they're possessed because this could be a very controlling energy the king of wands in the reverse very controlling very jealous very possessive sometimes even violent okay uh energy i feel like this person doesn't want you to move on i feel like they're seeing you as the right choice now they they're seeing you as like a soulmate i guess i, I don't really feel love here i'm not gonna lie i, I don't i don't feel like they feel a strong soulmate connection. They just feel like you're the right partner for them because now you have something to offer. So now they're coming in with the Ace of Cups. They, they want to win you. This person may try to get you pregnant. This person may offer, a, you know, marriage or something like that. For some of you, I feel like this person has a commitment elsewhere. That commitment doesn't have to be marriage. It could be that maybe this person owes somebody money and now they're coming to you to get money from you to pay that. Do you see what I'm saying? They want something from you. <clears throat> they want something from you. This person's definitely not, they say they're coming in to be loyal and that they want a real relationship. No, this person is still pursuing plenty of other options. But the outcome here is, is that they want to win a new beginning with you. And look, see, pre-empress to empress. They see your abundance and they want to have they want it for themselves. This is really interesting. Okay, so I want to go to the extended. I want to see what this person's hiding because we have the seven of swords here and we have the high priestess. So maybe this person is just lying about being in a commitment with you. Maybe this person is coming back around saying, listen, this time I want to commit. And you know, you're over here like, oh my gosh, finally things are going my way. Meanwhile, it's a lie. So let's see what we have going on. Like, what is this person's hiding? What is their true feelings and intentions here? You know, what you should do with this situation? How this is going to end. Okay. All right, guys. So the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Let me know if you like the new setup and the new view. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye.